Hey everyone, I'm Alan Thrall here at Untamed Strength Gym in Sacramento, California. Untamed Strength is expanding and I'm gonna take you kind of behind the scenes to show you what that looks like. And also, this is just for me to document the whole process. Currently, Untamed Strength is divided into two rooms. This room will be the powerlifting or barbell training room. This side. is the strongman side. The plan is to make each side a little bit better, reinforce this area, open up some space, and make the strongman area an even better strongman area. The third space is gonna be more equipment, and just to spread things out so we're not so crowded. The first untamed strength location that I moved into was in 2013, and I was paying for about a thousand square feet. However, there was, in that thousand square feet, there was an office, there was a large area that was not really usable. I couldn't put a squat rack or anything there. It was just used for a strongman storage because the ceiling was so low. And there was a way bigger than necessary bathroom for the size of the warehouse. So the usable square footage was like maybe 500 square feet. The second location that I moved into in 2015 was about 2000 square feet. However, there was an enormous office space that took up a lot of that square footage, so it was like this weird horseshoe-shaped gym. And there was an upstairs loft that I couldn't put any equipment on because it wasn't very sturdy, so we would just use it for warm-ups and stretches. Underneath that loft, again, was too low to put anything there other than atlas stones and some strongman equipment. In 2016, I moved into the current location, which is now the powerlifting room of Untamed Strength. It was 4,000 square feet, a huge upgrade. A few years later, next door was being used as a carpet distributor warehouse and they retired, so that space became available. I moved over there, punched a hole in the wall and added another 4,000 square feet. Now in 2022, there is another 4,000 square foot warehouse that we are moving into. This is the third room to the new and improved untamed strength. And it also has a large outdoor yard area. There it is. An empty warehouse. Restroom, office. Outdoor yard. I've got a lot of work ahead of me, but I'm trying to rack my brain about how to best prioritize it. What needs to be done first, second, third? I know the first thing that needs to be done is gym flooring. Before I can move any piece of equipment into that new spot, I need to get the gym flooring taken care of. So I'm kind of on a standstill right now, waiting for that gym flooring to be delivered. An often overlooked expense when someone's starting a new gym is things like gym flooring, um, maybe painting the building, wall panels, remodeling, cleanup, installing or uh, remodeling a bathroom, things like that. It's easy to budget the fun things like squat racks and barbells and machines, but a lot of times these overlooked expenses are just as expensive as buying a whole bunch of plates or a whole bunch of barbells. But anyways, gym flooring needs to be taken care of first. My, my gym flooring of choice has always been four foot by six foot, three quarter inch horse stall mats. I like them because they're thick at three quarter inches, so they protect the floor from any dropped equipment, and they protect the equipment from the floor if stuff is dropped. It's not enough to protect concrete floor from heavy deadlifts, but it is enough to help from drop dumbbells, drop plates, and things like that. I also like four by six, three quarter inch horse stall mats because they are heavy, so when you lay them down, they stay in place for the most part. Sometimes there's some scooting around and separating, but I've uh, fixed that with mending plates, and I made a video about that uh, that I'll link. Uh, it doesn't bunch up like thin rubber flooring. It doesn't require any adhesive to the floor because they're so heavy, they stay in place. And uh, because there's no adhesive, if I need to move, I can take them with me. Or if I need to remodel or move things around, I can just move mats. I don't have to, uh, you know, de-glue the floor and uh, rip the rubber mat off the, off the ground. So I prefer four by six, three quarter inch horse stall mats. Once those are all down, I need to move equipment, a whole bunch of equipment. My plan is to put all the machines and the cardio into this new room. And uh, I'm a bit nervous about it, honestly, because one, I hate asking people for help and I need a lot of help from the members. Um, and asking friends and family to help you move is never 
something that's, uh, you know, you look forward to because it's going to be a hard day for them. So you just hope that, I, I hope that enough people show up on moving day that it's not uh, just a couple people breaking their backs all day. Um, and the next thing is, I hope that I'm, uh, uh, I'm a little bit worried about my uh, ability to, to direct traffic on that day because I know what machines need to move over there and I know that all the machines need to move over there for the most part. I don't know exactly where they're gonna go. So I wanna uh, pretend like I look like I know, what I, I know what I'm doing when we move. So I'm just gonna have people move things quickly, move it over to this room. After that, I will make small adjustments to put things exactly where they need to be, but I'm not sure where all the equipment is gonna be organized until it's all over there and I can visually just look at it and see what fits and what doesn't. And so I don't wanna waste anyone's time by telling people to move equipment back and forth, back and forth. So anyways, moving day, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, the next thing, I need to build an enormous rig that I bought, six squat stations, 12 feet, 12, 13 feet high, monkey bars. I need to build this rig that is actually uh, gone. UPS lost it. It was delivered to Sacramento Station. I got a phone call that said, hey, your rig is here. It's an enormous, it's a bunch of pallets and uh, we need to schedule an appointment to deliver it. Well, they never delivered it and it turns out they lost it. So they arrived in Sacramento and then they somehow lost it. So someone made out with a sweet rig to put, I don't know, in their backyard. Um, so luckily I contacted Rogue and told them and they just sent another one. So I'm still waiting on that. Hopefully UPS doesn't lose that. And while we're moving all this stuff around, I am extremely excited to have an outdoor area where I can put a bunch of the big strongman stuff. The stuff that just sits around collecting dust really. Power stairs, Conan's wheel, I've got a Hercules hold coming, a car deadlift, sandbag or keg toss. All these things are gonna be moved to the outdoor yard and permanently set up. Any strong man will tell you that half the battle of doing a lot of these big events is setting up and cleaning up. And sometimes, if you're the only one here, some of this stuff is so big and hard to set up that people just aren't gonna do it if they're the only ones here. You need someone to help you set things up. So to have it all set up and staged, oh, the Fingles Fingers also. So to have this stuff set up and staged so that um, uh, people can use it just like you would use a leg press. You just walk up to the machine and use it. You don't have, no assembly required, no setup required. I'm really excited about that. I've got machines to paint, I've got pads to reupholster, I've got walls to paint, just a whole bunch of small jobs to do along with all this big stuff. I'm gonna do my best to have the camera rolling throughout this whole process just to document it for you guys and myself, but I'm not probably not gonna say much during the whole process because um, I'm just, I tend to zone in when I'm actually working and I just don't think about, you know, I need to talk to the camera, especially if I'm trying to tell members, hey, bring this over here, bring that over there. One second, let me uh, vlog real quick. So I just don't wanna have the camera out talking to it. Um, but anyways, I will try to keep you guys updated. If you check out my Instagram, I'll be updating uh, small bits and pieces here and there. But I will certainly, once this is all set up, I will, I will make a video of a new gym tour uh, to show the whole thing. Untamed, I mean, uh, 4.0, I guess. Thanks for watching and always remember, Tread on time!